Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. So what I'd like to do is show you how to simplify this uh, rational radical expression when we have a radical as a binomial in the denominator. And to get rid of this, we need to multiply by the square root of 3. But if we just multiply by the square root of 3, we're always going to have a, a radical in the denominator because you'd have to apply distributive property. And even though multiplying by the square root of 3 times square root of 3 would get rid of that, you'd just have 3. But you'd also have to multiply 6 times square root of 3, which wouldn't work. So therefore, we need to multiply by the conjugate, which is going to be the square root of 3 minus 6. And what the conjugate does is that produces a difference of two squares. Um, so therefore, we can identify, we can get rid of our square root, and our middle terms that we'd multiply by um, add up to 0. Now, it's also important when we multiply our conjugate, we multiply the denominator and the numerator the same. That's going to produce an equivalent fraction, which is not going to change our answer. All right, so really the hard part here is going to be a foiling our numerator, because our denominator is just difference of two squares, which um, we understand that. I guess I can show it either way. But let's just kind of go through it again. So to multiply these, I think the easiest way that I like to do it is just use a box. And I like using the box method because what it does is it allows me to kind of organize my multiplication very easily. All right. So when go ahead and go through this, I do 9 times 3, which is 27. 9 times 6, oh wait, that's, that's square root of 3. OK, sorry about that. 9 times square root of 3 is just 9 square root of 3. 9 times 6 is negative 54. Square root of 3 times negative square root of 3 is going to be a, um, is going to be, let's see, negative 2 square root of 3 squared. Now I'm going to simplify this in a second. Uh, negative 2 times square root of 3 times negative 6 is going to be a positive 12 square root of 3. And I just want you guys to understand that the square root of 3, the square root of 3 squared is just going to be 3. Right? Square root of 3 squared is just 3. So then therefore, I have negative 2 times 3, which now gives me 6. Negative 6. All right, so now we can see the nice thing about this is we can organize them. These have the same number under the, radic uh, under the radical sign. Our radicands are the same, so we can combine them. And these are both numbers, so we can combine them. So therefore, I have negative 60 plus 21 squared of 3. All right, so that's my numerator. Now let's go and do it on my denominator. Now, I know I said this is going to be difference of two squares, so it's easy. But just in case for the students that don't understand why it's, why it's easy and I don't really need to do this, um, I will just multiply this out. Square root of 3 times square root of 3 is just going to be 3. Square root of 3 times negative 6 is negative 6 square root of 3. Square root of 3 times positive square root of 6 is 6 square root of 3. And 6 times negative 6 is negative 36. So therefore, you can see that's negative, that's positive. They eliminate it out. 3 divided by our 3 plus negative 36 is just going to leave me with a negative 33. So now I'm going to replace my numerator here. So I have negative 60 plus 21 square root of 3 divided by a negative 33. Now, before I go ahead and just say, oh, I'm done, uh, make sure we see, can we simplify anything? Is there any number that can be divided into, uh, divided out of all of these? And we notice that 3 is a common um, divider, or a common divisor of all those numbers. So if I divide every um, term by 3, I'd have negative 20 plus 7 square root of 3 divided by negative 11. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you simplify your radical expression by rationalizing the denominator. Thanks.